Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with the Unicore IXO Golf Launch Monitor to show you guys a little additional features that are available with the Unicore Golf Simulation packages. All right, so Unicore has two different systems. The QED, which is three and a half feet behind the ball, ceiling mounted. And then the IXO, also ceiling mounted, three and a half feet in front of the ball. The QED requires marked balls. The latest system, the IXO, actually allows you to use ball of choice. It's using the dimples and the markings on the ball to actually read all of and measure all of that ball data. All right, it's a high-speed camera infrared-based system. Both of them are basically using two cameras to create stereo imagery. All right, the IXO has some additional features. Uh, let's talk about those really quick. IXO is going to provide advanced club data. So you're gonna get things like dynamic lie, uh, angle of attack, you know, very precise measurements as far as uh, club speed and club face angle and path, okay? It's gonna do that with stickers. I'll show you those really quick. Two simple stickers that are placed on the club face. All right, you have a vertical rectangle and a little square towards the heel. That is how they are getting their measurements uh, from the IXO. And uh, two different base softwares that come with each of these systems. So the QED comes with base software called Ignite, all right? And then IXO comes with software called View, all right? Now the View is a little more advanced than Ignite, and I have shown both of those in the channel if you wanna check them out. Make sure you check out those videos. And why I touch on that, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do, I appreciate it. Always comment below any questions that you have. So these two base softwares, what do they do? Well, one, they're great practice software. If you're gonna buy either system, that's the base software included. You can use it for practice, but also that software is gonna be used to connect to third-party golf simulation software. E6, Creative Golf, TGC, GS Pro. All right, those are going to launch and that's what's going to send the data to those other third-party pieces of software. All right, but there are also two other packages that are available from Unicore, both Refine and Succeed. All right, so Refine and Succeed both come with the same base software that includes practice facilities, all right, challenge mode, uh, games, all right, those are all included. And then you're gonna get five courses with Refine, and then you're going to get additional courses with Succeed. So really, the only difference between Refine and Succeed is that you're getting more courses with Succeed. And I've demonstrated the courses, you can check those out in the channel as well. But what I wanna show today that I don't think I've really shown much in the channel, if at all, maybe on a couple live streams, is the actual practice facility. So the actual ranges and the different approach modes and putting modes that they have, at each of these facilities. So I don't think a lot of people might know about them unless you have the software and you understand where they are. It really hasn't been shown, so I wanna show those to you guys today. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm right now loaded up out at the peak driving range. That's what it's called, the peak driving range. I'll shrink my camera down. I have this eight iron that has stickers already on the club. Let's just hit a quick shot out here so you guys can kind of understand the interaction and features that are available if you were to go out to the peak range. And then I'm going to show you some other features. So I'm just going to try to hit like a nice soft uh, eight iron. That's what I had stickered up already. So we're good to go there. All right. Not a bad shot considering not really warmed up. A little left to center and you can see my ball speed, my club speed, my smash factor, all right, my side spin, my face and club path, uh, my face angle and, and club path actually really close to where I try to be. Um, that ball had a little bit of left side spin on it, but not too far off center. Um, and I can try to correct that during my next shot. But if you guys watched on the screen, and I'll pull this up now, we actually are running a few things in the background. So in the lower right, you'll see this little mirror. And if I click on that, it's going to pull up my Logitech Brio. This is a $199 webcam. I feel like it's probably the best value on the market for something that actually works with the Unicore software that you can literally just plug in and have some general feedback. So I actually have it as a face on camera right now. And if you click the mirror, it basically allows you to work on setup. So if you wanted a face on view and you wanted to just look at things, you know, um, you can do that using that mirror function. And then also it's doing swing recording. Okay, so if we close that out and pull up our swing recording, you can see here's the swing from the Logitech Brio that I just took. Now it is at a 20% speed and you are going to see some blur. 
This is a $199 camera, and it only allows 30 frames per second in the software. So I just want you to understand that. But check this out. Let's say you were working on, you know, the top of, of your swing. I can easily see where that club is. You know, let's say I wanted to see where my angle is between my arm and, and top of my club. I can see that easily. So I think that's important to understand that if you're just looking for an entry level, you know, uh, product, it, it really gives you some general feedback. Now, if you're looking at the swing optic system, which I've shown in the channel, you can check it out. Um, if you, if, you know, you can really get a, a frozen, you know, image on your club. It has a much higher frame rate and uh, shutter speed. Okay. So here we are with the review. Looks like that was a little bit towards the heel because I'm actually getting that image of impact. All right from the IXO. I think that's really cool. And then you can also do a slow-mo of your actual club path. All right, coming just a little bit from the inside. Not a bad strike, just a little bit towards the heel on that. Uh, great for demonstration. All right, so now what I wanna do is, is I want to go to the settings in the lower left. The button's covered up by my camera, but that's okay. And I want to, first off, I can show you guys the settings that are available. You can change your ball trail color, your green speed, distance type, all right, velocity type, all those different things. But notice at the top, it has approach and also putting. Well, check this out. For each of the ranges, and I can show you the other range after we check this one out, you actually have an approach section, which I really enjoy. All right, so I can make sure that my eight iron is selected and I have my club stickers uh, selection to on because I have stickers on the club, so it's gonna give me uh, club data. And then my distance is 150 to the pin that you can see out there, which I think is great. We'll take a little shot again and uh, show you guys kind of how this uh, looks and all the data that's available. All right, not too bad. It wasn't a perfect strike, but looks like we're going to get it up close to the pin, which is fantastic. I got my club path, you know, close to to square there and uh, face angle was uh, just a little bit closed. All right. So you can see all the data that's coming up, um, you know, backspin, side spin. My side spin was almost nothing. That ball just kind of, you know, started to the left a little bit. Um, let's see if we can correct that. Let's hit one more really quick. I like hitting like little fades is what I've been trying to do lately. Let's see if we can actually get this to, uh, to fade back. Oh, look at that, too much. But that was a good strike though. You know, it was a, it was a perfect example. Uh, obviously, my out to in path and my square face caused right side spin, 428, and that ball started center and then went a little bit right. So a great example. That I, I like this approach section so much because you have a target out there um, and, it, and it just allows you to work on different things. Now you can change this just so you can understand. If I go down to the distance in the lower right, let's say I wanted to work on, you know, little wedge shots from 50 yards. You can do that. All right. It has different distances available. I mean, look, they even have a, a 10 yard, you know, chip that's available. All right, and then the maximum distance is 150 for the approach. So it's all approaching, approach shots, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna demonstrate for you guys is if I go to menu, there's actually a putting section, all right? So this is something that people don't understand. They have the practice facility that you can go out and select different putts, but they also have this. And actually, my kids really like this because they have the deer in the background. Like, let me just grab a nine-foot putt. Um, I, I try to get the family engaged, if you're trying to get kids into the game, um, and now you're kind of getting a little bit more towards the practice side of things, you try to make it fun, but get away from the games a little bit, well, check this out. I mean, it, it, it gives a little bit of, of fun to it, all right? So my kids really enjoy it. Now, let me see if I can just hit a nine-foot putt straight down there. I have a little dot at nine feet. Makes it pretty easy for me to, you know, aim and... All right, perfect. Hit that probably about 10 feet. Now, something I want you guys to see now, and let me hit one more just so you guys have a couple examples. These are the putts that you have to make. Perfect. I rolled right over my dot again, all right, and uh, kind of went up my ramp, which is about a 10, 10 foot putt, and obviously in the hole. Um, now, I'm sure you guys noticed that it actually, and I can clear what we were working on before, 
but I actually have a video here of my putting from my swing camera. That's something that I think is a little bit of a hidden gem that people don't understand. If you were working with a coach, depending on if you wanted a down the line camera or face on camera, you can actually see your putting stroke. All right. And with the Logitech Brio, because it's a slower swing, you can pretty much see everything quite well. So I want you guys to know that this is available for putting and not just full shots. All right. Um, now you can also look at your club. So you actually get to see the path of your putter coming in. All right. Now they don't have the impact position or club data for putting yet. Um, it's there. So it's possible that they're going to be adding it. I'll communicate with that with you guys if that, that comes at any point. Okay. So let me uh, go ahead and close that out. Perfect. And then I want to actually exit really quick and show you guys that there are some different uh, ranges available. So if I go to driving range, let's check out the lake range really quick. It will take just a second to load. Um, I have a pretty robust computer. Um, it does a pretty good job loading it up, but there's obviously a lot of intense graphics. Um, I want to make sure you guys know that if you're looking to add a Unicore system to make sure you reach out. Um, you know, we've just been helping so many people lately. Um, we're getting great feedback. I just want you to know that you can email me. I'll pin it to the top of the comments and then in the description. And I'd love to answer any questions, even if you're just looking and I can help help with some things, you know, let me know. So here we are um, on this range, obviously, uh, because we're not on approach, you're set to driver. Um, you can go in uh, farther with different, uh, I should say, let's see here, I'm on the tee box. Let's go to, this is what I wanted to do. I apologize. I wanted to go to approach. All right. And so from here, you'll see, let's just hit one more shot. You had the normal driving range, and then this is the approach for the lake facility. And basically, you're just coming in closer. All right. But check this out. It's, it's, it's pretty cool graphics. Got the lake behind you. That was a pretty darn good strike. All right. A little warmed up there. Check out the face angle and the club path. I love that. Um, you know, if you're trying to hit a straight shot, I mean, uh, man, I wish I could do that every time versus, you know, whether it's a little fade or draw. Um, so how cool is that? And then, of course, just like before, I have my swing. I have my club information. I'd love to see the club information on that because I squared, uh, you know, the face up so well. I mean, check that out. Very cool being able to see that. If I wanted to go step by step, I can go step by step. I mean, there's impact right there. You can see that was a nice square strike. My path was coming in square. Um, just a great result. And then if you wanted to do putting, we can switch to putting. And then check this out. I mean, totally different graphics. Um, this is another one the kids like. Um, go up close like this. I'll hit a quick putt for you guys. Another nine footer. But I think this is right down the line. Love it. Um, I think this is a little more in-depth stuff that I wasn't able to show you guys in earlier videos. And I felt like there was so much variety I really wanted to show you guys. Now I'll show you the last ra uh, range really quick. Let's go to driving range and let's go to driving complex. All right, we'll let that load really quick. Um, they are currently working on uh, an, a complete engine update. So you'll see major updates coming for this software as well. All right. So whether you're looking to get into a Unicore system or you're already in one, all right, and you're watching this video, just understand that they are in development. All right. You're going to see new releases coming for the software. So I think that's cool. Always nice to have more, you know, features and enhancements coming down the line. Um, and I'll keep you guys up to date on all of that stuff. So uh, here is the driving complex. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it totally different view, totally different, you know, uh, graphics and targets and everything like that. So, um, all kinds of variety for you guys to choose from whatever is your liking. I mean, one of my personal preference, I kind of like that peak range and I like the approach. Um, and don't get me wrong. I like the lake one too. That's pretty cool where you see the lake in the background, but, um, you know, if you're, you're going to be working on your game and I'll actually, uh, take my video really quick and we'll just bring this back up as we discuss a few things. Um, 
you know, it's all personal preference depending on what you're looking at. And I know I've shown you guys um, the challenge mode that they have and the other practice facilities that they have. Um, if you have any other questions or like to see anything else, make sure you just comment below and let me know. And if you're looking to get into a Unicore system, I'd love to get you some pricing. We've been saving people money, all right, uh, with wholesale access to all these different components. Like I said, projectors, mats, screens, all that different stuff is so important to understand that what's best for your environment and then also what's going to maximize your value. All right, so um, please reach out if you're interested in a Unicore system, whether it be QED or IXO. I'd love to hook you up with my partners and I will be there along the way to help with everything, okay? So uh, I'm always here for consulting. I wanna make sure everybody gets the best system for their needs. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't had a chance. Comment below, let me know what you think. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you guys soon.